on a mission. All right, boys. Some thief no. stole my green car. My bright green car. You have to be some kind of special. Can't say that. Okay, we're cutting that because I just got a little too offensive for for YouTube there. But some idiot there you go. <laughs> decided to steal my green, my bright green car. You'd think you'd be smarter to steal a bright green car. At first I thought maybe like I forgot to put the parking brake up when I got home last night and it slowly rolled out of the spot and the apartments towed it, but I called them no record of it. Called the Harris County non-emergency line to check all of their police slots. No record of it. Call a non-emergency dispatch and get connected with an officer and he says, hey man, were you the one that stole this car? I said, absolutely not. That is my car that got stolen. I live in Katy. And he goes, okay, well, we found it at an apartment in Spring. Uh, some lady had called and reported it stolen because three different cars in the past few weeks had been found there that were stolen. The window is busted out and apparently taped over. Um, so I don't know what the plane was. I don't know if they were just trying to steal it and cruise it for a bit. Um, but the officer gave me the address. I'm meeting him there and, and I'm repoing my own car from a thief. So this should be fun. I don't know what's going on, but uh, we're on the way to spring right now. It's a 45 minute drive to the apartments and it's in the hood, of course, because that's where these no good thieves live. Um, I, I, come on, man, work for your own stuff, bro. Stupid, but we're going. Hmm, one of these things is not like the other. One of these things is Drew's car. I'm pissed, bro. You can't show the cop, though. So. Yeah, I'm not going to put the cops... Okay. Alrighty, well, boys. Repoing my own car. They're not very smart for stealing a green highlighter car with an HPC sticker in the back. Yeah, it's like, what the hell? Right, Melody? Bad. Bad, bad. Exactly. Melody has her little rants, too. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, there we go, boys. Quick glance. Back down. Well, boys, we have found it. Window broken in. They had the the consideration when they stole it. They covered it with a plastic bag and used my business cards to weigh down the plastic bag so it didn't get, uh, didn't get uh, rained in, I guess. It runs fine, starts up fine. Interior's not trash, nothing's missing. Apparently, this is the third or fourth vehicle they found in this these same three spots at this apartment complex that has no cameras, of course, um, in the last three weeks or so. So, we're gonna go back to my apartment complex now, and I'm gonna file a police report and see what happens. Um, because, you know, let's see. Alrighty, boys. Um, kind of a weird situation. I know this sounds super weird, but. Uh, they told me to hold off on filing the police report until I got back to my apartment complex because my apartment complex is the one that has the cameras. The apartment where they found it did not have cameras. Um, I didn't want to leave my car at my apartment still because one, they could still come back for it. Two, um, it's going to rain and I don't have a window. <sighs> but, I mean, if you're going to take my car and enjoy it, at least let me get it with a full tank of gas. <laughs> but, uh, definitely not a fun experience but i'm glad it wasn't worse than it was um another piece of damage that i noticed is the grill is actually busted which is weird to say the least but uh let's get on the road so we do have the cops here we're gonna get everything sorted out. An exciting turn of events. We have the cops swarming these people over here arresting them with the, the helicopters above. Well, I'm trying to figure out my stuff too. 
man, that is crazy. My day just keeps getting wilder and wilder. Apparently, uh, the dude is harboring a fugitive. And I live in the hood. So we're back at work here. I'm gonna get it put up on a lift, check for tracking devices and all that stuff. These criminals really are just mega stupid. No, uh, no tracker underneath. We're going back down, though. I mean, you literally couldn't pick the uh, worst time to uh, actually bust my window out, but it's gonna rain the next few days. Should have the window repaired once my dude has a little bit of availability for me. But for now, we got the collision center at the dealership to give me some plastic to cover up this. Hopefully, it doesn't leak. That'd be ideal, but I think I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, I should have my garage ready tomorrow. One finally opened up for me, boys. I mean, a little explanation here for you boys. Um, so this morning, I, I, or last night, I got to got home from work at around 9 p.m. Went inside, I wasn't feeling great. Um, so I thought I forgot to uh, actually put my parking brake up. Being a manual car, I thought it might have rolled into the lot and uh, they towed it because it was just sitting in the middle of the lot. So I called my apartment complex's towing company, nothing. I call the Harris County non-emergency number no records of my license plate in any of their tow yards, but the lady was like, oh, hold on. Let me give you a call back in just a second. So what I think happened, uh, well, I know this happened, right? A lady had actually reported my car as possibly being a stolen vehicle getting dumped at the apartment complex where it was found. Um, the responding officer to that call um, was still on duty whenever I called in. And she called me back, linked me on a call with him, and he told me exactly where it was. He met me up there. We got it back. And now it's back. Um, I was told it was a group of six or seven dudes. I mean, I'm kind of suspicious that it's someone that follows my social media, if I'm being totally honest with you. Uh, or it was somebody that maybe found it on social or uh, Facebook Marketplace or something. I'm not really sure. Um, but we got it back, which is all that really matters. Probably going to keep it now. Whatever. I uh, got a garage for it, so can't take it anymore. But uh, there we go. That's the explanation. All right, boys. We're going into work now. Um, what a crazy day. I mean, it really has been like super crazy for me. I've never had to go through something like this. Never really expected to have to go through something like this. But I'm glad it wasn't as bad as it could have been. Um, I'm glad like even the wheels were still left on the vehicle. Um, I mean, these thieves were not the brightest in picking a car this bright. So uh, all pun intended. It's not a long video, but a little explanation for you boys. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll catch you later. See you.